Kuala Lumpur, the city center of Malaysia. There has been congestion on major roads due to major of traffic routes operating at or above capacity during peak hour. Example of congested area in Kuala Lumpur is in LDP routes that we are going to study about. The Damansara Puchung Expressway LDP is constructed as a major expressway in Kelang Valley in Selangor that allow you to travel in, out or within residential area and easily access township like Bandar Seri Damansara, Bandar Utama and Taman Tun Dr. Ismail. As the Malaysian population has grown rapidly over the years, the number of cars on the road also keep increasing. Although highways and public transport are developing, traffic congestion is still a major problem. It is frustrating, affecting the nation. To solve the bad circumstances, we have to see beneath the problem to get a deep understanding. Then, the TDDI interchange was constructed to improve the level service of LDP. But there is a congestion at the interchange. With Petronas, yeah. Save fuel in any traffic condition with Petronas Premax 95 Extra and enjoy more than just fuels at your nearest station. Petronas gives you more. And on the LDP, it is now busy from Taman Maga till Taman Sara Utama. In the Klang Valley on the LDP, traffic is backed up from Kalanajaya towards Bandar Utama and towards Pusat Bandar Puchong, and from Bandar Utama towards SS2, and the sprint is slow from Sri Hatamas towards Mount Kiara. In the Klang Valley on the LDP, traffic is backed up from Kalanajaya towards Bandar Utama and towards Pusat Bandar Puchong, and from Bandar Utama towards SS2, and the sprint is slow from Sri Hatamas The reason of the congestion at the LDP are mainly caused by the construction of MRT. Due to the ongoing construction of MRT, the worst circumstances can be seen when the land is reduced while the number of highway users keep increasing. The next one is toll plazas. Toll plazas are those that cause traffic congestion on LDP. Toll plazas are meant to collect the payment to reduce traffic jams on highways, but they seem to be the one making things worse. Lastly is queue cutters. You will find that one of the worst driving behaviors among Malaysians are those who like to cut queue. Like it or not, they are one of the biggest culprits who create traffic jam that make those at the back who take forever to reach their destination. The impact to the environment can be seen as all the road users are exposed to the air pollution that comes from smokes of vehicle. Meanwhile, noise and vibration level increase because of piling work and the use of heavy machinery. Other than that, the safety of road users is endangered because of the temporary closure or diversion of roads and transportation of waste construction material and equipment. My opinion on the traffic jam, oh, it, was, it, was, it was actually stressful, but what can we do? Because this is the government project and it's for the betterment of our future actually. But when I was using my car, the jam was very, very irritating and killing everybody in the jam. <coughs> because initially, the roads was having four to three lanes. But since the construction has started, they are cutting down to almost, at certain places, only have two lanes. This is causing jams, not only including more tolls, but also... Okay, seperti kita tahu, uh, Malaysia adalah salah satu negara membangun. Jadi uh, sebagai salah satu negara membangun, uh, construction uh, pembinaan semakin pesat berlaku di ibu negara especially. So, uh, sesakan lalu lintas pun 
semakin kronik uh, kita tahu jadi itu akan menyebabkan uh, kesan terhadap beberapa perkara seperti uh, pencemaran alam sekitar uh, apa keselamatan lalu lintas dan sebagainya Suggestion. Okay, not suggestion to be to be exact, because traffic jams always happens, no matter what is the causes. But from my context of the LDP and TDI, what can I, what can I see is that the traffic jams are getting more and more worse when the construction of MRT are occurring here. From what I can see is that if the constructions are finished and the MRT development group. Uh, also reconstructing the road surface to uh, one, I think the project would get less. And in fact, sometimes who knows it gets better as the MRT already completed and more people are taking the public transport, the MRT to be exact. Mengurangkan kesesakan lalu lintas dekat Malaysia yang sebagai kronik, macam kita tahu, dekat Malaysia ni banyak projek-projek pembinaan dan juga uh, uh, kerajaan sendiri telah membina banyak uh, public transport seperti LRT, uh, MRT yang uh, sedang dibina, uh, taksi dan sebaik mungkin uh, usaha-usaha kerajaan ini untuk mengurangkan kesesakan lalu lintas di Malaysia uh, untuk uh, kebaikan kita bersama. Traffic congestion has been a never-ending problem here in Malaysia. The poor civil engineering and planning, lack of road maintenance, and constant construction everywhere are the key contributing factors to our constant rush, our mayhem. Still, the MRT set to complete by 2050 gives us city dwellers a ray of hope. With inconvenience route from Sungai Bulo to Kajang in its first phase, perhaps this will be the answer to all our congestion problems. It's true that ongoing construction and the behavior of the drivers in Malaysia does contribute to a rise in traffic congestion lately. But as the saying goes, today's struggle for tomorrow convenience.